Okay, so make sure you leave this open so it dries like overnight. When you go to use the colors, only take like three drops of water at a time. So take three drops, massage, get the water painty activated. And then once you run out, add three more drops. That'll keep it from filling all over when you put it in your backpack or whatever. Okay. Now we're only going to be using red, yellow, and blue. Uh, for all the sets that are in the same location, if you have like the glitter or the metallic, it might look a little different, but it, it's the same thing. Um, orange is between red and yellow, so that's the secondary color. We're going to be making this. Green is in between yellow and blue. We're going to be making this. And violet is red and blue. They would do another red. That doesn't make sense. If this was a circle, that would be interesting. But anyways, blue, red, egg, purple. All right. Now, up at the top of this water, these watercolor sets, there's these barriers. Those are actually there on purpose. Uh, these are for mixing paint. So uh, each color that we're going to mix, we can put in a different one of these wells. And when we're done, we can just take a paper towel and wipe it off, and uh, it'll be good. So this is our color mixing palette area. All right. So um, to make this, we're going to start with just plopping in the primaries. I'm going to start with yellow because yellow is the weakest color. So I'm going to take three little dabs of water. One, two, three. Give it some massage. Activate the paint. Are you in the same color as you? Yeah, first. Yeah, first. So the reason I'm starting with yellow is it's the weakest color. If I get any other color into the yellow, it's going to change it drastically. So especially if it's like a purple or a blue, if you get that into your yellow paint, it's going to look really bad. So uh, if you're going to start with something, I'll just start with like the yellow, the orange, those are the colors that if you don't treat them nicely, they're going to be, uh, they'll get mad or sad. Mopey, grumpy. All right, got myself a yellow circle. This is at the top because we're going to be making a, like a triangle thing going here, a circle triangle. Triangle circle. Uh, so the next one down in the corner, I'll use red. I'm going to take my brush. I'm going to wash. I'm going to squeeze. If there's any paint, like there's still a little yellow, I'm going to go get some more. I want this brush to be super clean. All right, I'm going to plop three dots of water in the red. Massage. And uh, give myself a red circle. Now, mine's pretty light. Uh, you can see a lot of my paper, so I'm going to spend a little more time, get a little more of the paint in the water. There we go. Nice deep red. And finally, blue. Again, take your paintbrush, really wash it out, squeeze to make sure there's no uh, paint in it. I'll do one, two, three drops of water and uh, massage that blue. All right, and another circle of color. So I've got a triangle going. Yeah. So those are my primaries. I'm all set with that. Uh, I'm going to make my secondaries. So right now there's blue on my brush already. Instead of worrying about washing out the blue, I'm going to start, I don't know, I'll do green. So what I'm going to do is take some blue paint, and I'm going to put it up in one of these wells. I'll go right here. So why not? So just regular blue. Let me get right there. Now I'm going to wash my brush off really well because I'm making green yellow and blue. Yellow is weak. 
me to make sure I don't get any blue in the yellow. And I take some yellow, put it next to the blue, not on the blue, next to it. You see that? I don't know if that is frame. I've got it. so I've got a area that is yellow and an area that is blue, and they're separate from each other. Alright. I don't have to wash this off because I'm gonna be mixing it. So I'm gonna take Yellow is weak, I keep saying it, so I'm going to add blue to the yellow. So I'll just take some blue, just go over here, more blue, just go over here, until I get something that's, you know, it looks similar to what's on my palette already. Alright, that's good. Now I'm going to make a blue square. Oh, not blue, green. Green squared. Alright. Got myself a green square. Now I'm going to make sure I wash out my brush. The, the what's it called? Pattern here. Brush washing. Alright. Uh why don't we do orange? So I'm gonna get some yellow. Plop it up here in these other wells. Got myself some yellow. Wash my brush out. Pick up some red. Down. And again, the yellow is weakest, so I'm going to mix my red, dirty red paintbrush into the yellow. So I get something that looks kind of like the orange we already have. That was quick. Look at that. Same. Do no square. Square of orange. What color? What color is square? Orange. Orange. That the red and the yellow mix together. All right. Got myself an orange. Am I going a little too speedy? Uh, now, I up here in my palette, I still have my green that I used. I still have my orange. Leave it there. Make sure it stays there because we're going to use it after we finish this last step um, to make our neutrals. Uh, so the final one, uh, we've got the violet or purple, whatever you want to call it. Again, make sure you wash your brush out. I'm going to start with the red. Pop it up in a different well. Red. So if you're looking at the palette, and if you're looking, the the blue is much darker yeah. than the red, so it's going to, the blue is going to be much, much uh, stronger. Get a clean brush. Some blue. All right, so I'm going to mix the blue into the red. So now we're mixing red and blue. Correct. That's actually a really good color. And depending on which watercolor set you have, some of these will look really nice. Some of them look kind of ucky. So my my purple looks like kind of, kind of grayish. Um, last year we, we used cyan, magenta, and yellow, which they don't, I mean, they make those in watercolor, but not in watercolor sets like this. So you just kind of pretend you don't remember anything from last year. <laughs> that, was, that was fun. That was supposed to be funny because no one remembers. Probably. All right. So now we're going to do the neutrals, which are the little triangles in the center. Uh, and those are made of complementary colors. So this one that says why it has a Y and a V is yellow mixed with violet. This is 
red mixed with green, and this one is blue mixed with orange. So each one is pointing to the, the primary. So red and green right here, yellow and violet is right next to the yellow, and blue and orange right next to the blue. So uh, the good thing about having these all saved is that you don't really have to do a lot of work. So I have some red up here. I have my green. So I can just swipe some of this red from over here and mix it into my green that I already have. And the idea is that you make a brown and a muddy color. So this is my red and green mixed together. So I'm going to come over to my red circle and I'm going to have the triangle pointed at the red. So the closer you can get this to like a brown color, grayish brown, the, the better you are. If it's a little red, add more green. If it's a little green, add more red. All right, so I've got my red and green mixed together. I'll do uh, my blue and orange. So I'll grab a little bit of blue come up here, bring it over to my orange. And I added just a tiny bit of blue and it made a huge difference. So this is a little bit of orange and a whole lot of blue. Wait, no, opposite. What I said in reverse <laughs> is a whole lot of orange and a tiny bit of blue. And I got this really nice gray. Okay, and last is the yellow and the violet. So I'm going to, I already used up my yellow. So I'm going to grab some more yellow. I'm going to, to make uh, just a separate yellow over here. Uh, the violet's really strong. Uh, so a little bit of violet's going to have a big impact. So I'm going to start with the yellow and work my way towards uh, brown, neutral color. That's the goal. So if you can make all of these, so you're taking all these different colors and, and mixing them to where they all look the same, it's good stuff. All right, so in my final triangle, All right. Does anybody need anything? Anybody, anybody have a question? No? Okay. So the final step to deal with this is I'm going to take a pencil and set down one. All right. We'll go with the with this one. And I'm going to label these. So we have yellow, which is a primary. I'm just going to put a Y here, and I'm going to put the number one. So this is one color. So blue is one color. Red is one color. The primary, one. Orange, I'll put an O here. I'll put a two. The orange is two colors. Secondary. Green, secondary. So two. Violet, secondary, two. All right, that's, pr that's pretty easy. So, okay, so for the triangle, um, for blue, you mix blue and orange? Blue and orange, yep, the ones that are across from each other. So when I go to label these triangles, uh, I'm going to put a B plus O for that. And then this one is a Y. Y plus V, or P if you're calling purple. And then this one is red plus green. All right, so that should kind of... But so how do you get the triangle and the yellow? Yellow and violet, so these two. Oh, okay. So you're mixing complementary colors. To make the neutrals. 
you remember the, the video where it's fuzzy yellow and fuzzy purple? That was after your time. It was like, yellow! Yeah. 